Happy hello everyone! There are three kinds of people in the world. Dog people, cat people, and sad people. And I know some of you are saying, aren't the saddest people the ones with the most cats? Yes, but that's not the point. My name is Ryan Wingfield and my job is to make people happy. After years of doing stand-up comedy, I've devoted an entire year to the study of happiness. Join me each week right here on a Road Comics Road to Happiness. Pets are kind of like a child who refuses to move out of their parents' house. They take up space, they cost us money, and sometimes they can leave a smelly mess. So why do we put up with them? Well, because much like our own children, pets make our lives better. Unless, of course, you have allergies. Here's an interesting fact. Pets outnumber people in the United States. According to the American Pets Products Association, about 65% of homes in the U.S. have at least one pet. That works out to about 312 million animals. This year, those owners are expected to spend about $62 billion on their pets. So what do we get for all that money? Well, it turns out, quite a lot. Pet owners are considerably healthier, happier, and live longer lives. Studies have shown they have higher self-esteem, are more conscientious, more outgoing, and have healthier relationships than non-pet owners. The reasons for these benefits vary. Among them is the fact that having a pet forces you to adopt certain healthy attitudes. For example, getting off your butt and taking your dog for a walk every day. The effort that it takes to care for another creature also gives people a feeling of purpose and self-worth. Yeah. Pets also offer healthy relationships, which can go a long way towards health and happiness. Over half of the people who have pets consider their furry friends companions. And unlike your two-legged friends, they won't tell anyone else about the stupid things you've done while drinking. Their love is unconditional and non-judgmental, which may explain why children are more likely to turn to their pets rather than than their peers when they are sad. As the saying goes, every boy needs a dog. Pets can also help develop human relationships with what is called the magnet effect. Studies have shown that people with pets are more likely to be approached by strangers. For example, a wheelchair patient who has a companion dog will receive more and better care, which makes pets very important to the elderly and infirm. Men who have trouble meeting women have even been known to use pets as an icebreaker. So I've heard. On a physical level, studies have shown that pets help lower blood pressure by reducing stress hormones such as cortisol, which is connected to depression. Pets also increase beneficial hormones such as oxytocin, which makes us relaxed and happy. In fact, as little as five minutes of playing with a dog or cat can increase your body's endorphin and dopamine levels. It's not just your furry friends though. Even watching fish swim in a tank can lower your blood pressure significantly. Wow. But which pet is best when it comes to happiness? Well, sorry cat lovers, but this round goes to man's best friend. A 2016 study found that dog owners scored higher than cat owners when it came to happiness, life satisfaction, positive emotions, and a lack of negative emotions. One reason for this may be that studies have shown dogs like people more than cats do. That's based on evidence that playing with your dog will increase its oxytocin levels by about 57%, whereas cats only see about a 12% boost. So guys, if you think your girlfriend's cat hates you, not only are you right, but the cat probably isn't that crazy about your girlfriend either. Of course, pets aren't for everyone. If you already have a stressed out life, adding to it an animal which you have to feed, walk, and clean up after probably isn't the best idea. I don't think anyone has ever found happiness trying to clean vomit out of a rug. In that case, maybe you should try a low-maintenance pet, like the stuffed toy kind. That's all for this edition of A Road Comics Road to Happiness. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave any happy comments below. Next week, the arch nemesis of happiness, stress, where it comes from and how best to deal with it. Until then, stay happy.